No. Titanic didn't sink because of a giant movie-sized gash. It was something much sneakier, a series of small failures that added up fast. Picture this. It's April 14, 1912. Clear night, dead calm sea. That calm matters. No waves breaking on the iceberg, so spotting it was harder. The lookout's binoculars? Locked away. So when the iceberg appears they have seconds. Hard to starboard. Engines reversed. A left swing. The turn works, mostly. But the iceberg bumps and scrapes along the starboard side. Here's the mythbuster. The hull is in sliced open stem, to stern. Instead, several small gashes and popped rivets open up along about 300 feet. The steel was fine for its time, but cold North Atlantic water made it brittle. The real weak points? Some wrought iron rivets in the bow, more likely to shear under diagonal stress. Water starts flooding six forward compartments. Titanic could float with four flooded, not six. The watertight bulkheads didn't reach the deck above. Water just sloshed over like an ice tray tipping forward. Add a hidden factor, a coal bunker fire likely smoldered for days before sailing. That heat could have softened nearby hull plates right where the iceberg struck, reducing strength exactly when it was needed most. As the bow sinks, the angle increases, pushing more water forward through hatches, ducts and cable runs. Pumps fight it, but they're outmatched. Up top, not enough lifeboats, because regulations lag behind ship size. And, in the first boats? Launched half full, because no one believed the unsinkable ship was actually sinking. Two hours in, the bow is deep, the stern is lifting. Titanic's long steel spine wasn't built for that cantilevered load. Amidships, near the weakest section the hull starts to fail. Lights flicker. The ship breaks. Bow down. Stern briefly settles back. Then rises again. Air trapped in compartments roars out. Boilers tear loose. The stern goes almost vertical before it floods and follows. Total time from impact, roughly 2 hours and 40 minutes. Not one fatal flaw. Many small ones. Speed and ice. Calm seas. Limited visibility. Brittle components. A coal fire. Short bulkheads. Human overconfidence. So, how did Titanic sink? Not by a single slash, by a chain reaction. And that's the real lesson. Disasters rarely have one cause. They stack.